So far, what is the possibility of making a mini solar furnace? Objectives: to be able to build a solar furnace. To test different objects that may be heated or powered by the solar furnace. To be able to conserve electricity through the solar furnace. To be able to project light from the sun onto a target. Preparing the materials. We are tracing the shape of the mirror chips on the plywood so that we can be guided when we start drilling later. Drilling. As you can see, we are not drilling because drilling is dangerous and hazardous to your health. Do not try this at home. Alone. Drilling is hard and very, very dangerous for little kids like us. Therefore, we should drill with parental consent and supervision. Screwing. We are screwing the screws in place so they can support the mirror chips because it would be adjusted later. Screwing hurts the hands, so you should try it with gloves. Gloves are cheap. Do you know that? Caulking. By caulking, we mean putting painter's caulk on one corner of the mirrors so that they can be adjusted. Trial 2. Applying Sticky Tack. We are applying sticky tack because we found out that painter's caulk is not flexible and it was very brittle and won't be flexed. Programming the solar furnace. We are adjusting the mirror chips so that they'd be focused on the center mirror chip. Then we'd focus the center mirror chip on the target so that we can burn stuff or power. Testing the solar furnace. As you can see, we are out on the side of the road just to test the solar furnace. You cannot see Tourette, but she, because she is invisible. She has magical powers. Look, I have no shoes. Cinderella. We look like we're having a picnic, but we're not. No, we're not. Ooh, I'm invisible. Yeah. Testing the solar furnace! Part 2 We are testing it again. Since this is a road, many people and cars pass by. And once someone asked us what we were doing, we got scared. We didn't want to be kidnapped while doing our project because then we'd get a zero. And we wouldn't have finished our project. And we wouldn't have helped the world be a better place. Our finished product. The Solar Furnace!